to WC Kids Online. I'm Pastor Khan, and I'm so glad that you're here today. We're going to be talking about Looney Cartoony, about how we can build godly character in a wacky world. I hope you had a great week because we're going to have a great time today. So we're going to start off with a little bit of worship. So I need you to stand up on your feet. Come on, stand up on your feet if you're not standing up already. And then we're going to count to three. And after we say three, we're going to yell, hit it. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Hit it. Turn around and sit down. One, two, three. Turn around and sit down. I live here. job, friends. Well, like I said, we're in the middle of our series, Looney Cartoony, where we're going to be talking about building godly character in a wacky world. Now, last week, we talked about some turtles um, who were kind of special and unique. They knew karate, and they were super brave. They had a lot of courage because they'd always fight the bad guys. Do you remember the cartoon? We talked about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, right? Well, we also talked about three friends from the Bible who showed great courage. They had some kind of weird names, right? You remember Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, right? They didn't bow down before King Nebuchadnezzar. They stood up and they had courage and they worshiped the one true God and God protected him. So we don't ever have to be afraid. We can always have courage. Well, this week, friends, we're going to be talking about how we need to build up self-control. Self-control is really hard to do sometimes, isn't it? Like maybe if you see a, a plate of cookies on the table and you haven't had dinner yet, ooh, and you really want one of those cookies, but you haven't had dinner and you know you're not supposed to have the cookies first. Oh, it's so hard not to take one, isn't it? Or, or maybe this, maybe you're, you're playing with your favorite toy and your brother or sister comes and they take that toy from you and they start playing with it. Oh, you want to get so mad and get so angry, but you have to have self-control so that you don't respond in the wrong way. 
Well, that's what we're talking about, self-control. You know what, I remember when I was a little boy, there was a cartoon who really struggled with self-control. And his name was the Tasmanian Devil. And he would go around and eat everything in sight. And then if he got really mad or frustrated, he would just blow his top and he would get so angry. He did not have very good self-control. Just watch. I told you, the Tasmanian Devil has no self-control. It's kind of funny watching a cartoon character spin around without any control, but the truth is this, friends, is that we're supposed to have self-control. Do you know the person who had the very most self-control in all the world, in all of history? It was Jesus, that's right. And the story of Jesus having great self-control is actually found in this book. Friends, what book do I have in my hand? <laughs> the Bible, that's right. And I have a very important question to ask you, friends. Is the Bible true? It is, every single word of the Bible is true. And so let's watch this story about how Jesus had the very best self-control when tempted by the devil. Just watch. Come and see the temptation of Jesus. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus was born in Bethlehem and grew up in Nazareth, where he grew in wisdom and favor with God and man. Oh, I see. Jesus was baptized by John, and God showed John that Jesus was his chosen one. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness among the wild animals. Oh, hey there, friend. Oh, what's over the sheep? For 40 days and 40 nights, Jesus didn't eat anything. So he was hungry. Satan came to him and said, Hey, if you are the son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus knew God's word, and so he answered, No, the word of God says people don't live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. And so Jesus passed the first test. Then Satan took him to Jerusalem and said, If you are the Son of God, jump off. Aww. For the word of God says he will order his angels to protect you, and they will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. Wait. But Jesus said, The word of God also says you must not test the Lord your God. Now. And so Jesus passed the second test. So Satan took him to the 
peak of a high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and all their glory. Satan said, I will give it all to you if you kneel down and worship me. But Jesus said, Get out of here, Satan, for the word of God says you must worship the Lord your God and serve only him. <laughs> then Satan went away, and angels came and took care of Jesus. And so Jesus passed the third and last test. Isn't that a great story, friends? Jesus resisted all the temptations that the devil tried to get him to do. He showed great self-control, and he was probably really hungry because he went a long time without any food. Have you ever missed a meal before? Maybe you didn't have breakfast or you missed lunch and then it came time for dinner time and it was like, oh, I am so hungry. Well, Jesus hadn't eaten for many days and the devil tempted him with some, some food. He just said, hey, why don't you try this? But Jesus responded each time with God's word, the Bible, and he did what was right. He showed great self-control. And friends, if we're supposed to be like Jesus, guess what? We should be showing great self-control too. In fact, I'm going to ask you a question today. I'm going to ask, what should we have? And I want you to respond with self-control. Are you ready, friends? Let's see if we can do that. What should we have? Self-control. That's exactly right. We should have self-control in our lives. Well, now we're going to look at our verse of the week, and it's found in James chapter 1, verse 19. And it says this, You must all be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to get angry. Let's say that again, friends. You must all be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to get angry. And that's found in James chapter 1, verse 19. So let's all open up our Bibles and sing that out. James 1, 19, 1, 19, 1, 19. James 1, 19, 1, 19. And where is that found, friends? In the Bible! That's exactly right. We have time for one more song, so I want you to stand up on your feet and let's get ready to worship one last time. We'll see you next time, friends. Bye-bye. All right, boys and girls, we have time for one more worship song. So I need everyone to stand up super, super quick on their feet. And on the count of three, let's say roll it. Ready? One, two, three. Three, roll it!
this week. Awesome job, guys. We love you, and most importantly, Jesus loves you. See you next time.